Hi, welcome to Art Time with Melissa and Happy Pride Month. Today we're going to be making some rainbow themed art for one of my favorite seasons. Let's jump right into it. So today I'm going to teach an easier version and a trickier version for when you want a challenge and for when you want to keep things simple. So we're going to start with, you need half a paper plate. I suggest ones that don't feel waxy, but feel thick enough to support what you're doing. Because if it pulls too easily, then it's not going to work very well. So I'm going to cut my paper plates in half because we just need half a paper plate. Now you can decorate it however you want. It could be with markers, it could be with crayons, it could be with paint. But I would suggest making sure you just think about keeping it strong as you work. So for instance, markers are gonna do a great job keeping it strong as you work. So for if you're doing the simple version, you might decide, I just want to do some designs with markers, maybe some swirls, maybe you'll draw some clouds, maybe you'll draw some sun. Oh my goodness, we're getting a Delilah visit. How wonderful. Nice to see you, my dear. Now another option is you could paint. One of the things I would suggest if you're painting is we don't really want a lot of water because it might weaken the plate. So I actually picked out some colors of paint that I know are gonna mix great together. I have a purple, a pink, and a white. And I know if I paint with these, these colors are so beautiful together that if I paint the whole plate and just let them mix, I'm still going to have a beautiful colored plate. You see that? They all blend so nicely together. <laughs> you can't see it, but Delilah is sniffing my toes under the table. Delilah, why do you want to smell my feet? Do I have good stinky feet? They might be good stinky feet. Who knows? Awesome. So I am not going to spend the whole time painting this for you, but you could see you could do something where you transition it from one color to another. You could do clouds. You could do, hmm, you could do another rainbow. Why not paint a rainbow under a rainbow? You could keep it really simple because you want the rainbow to shine out with your designs. You could do on my other ones, I'm not gonna do on this one. I did a layer of plain paint like this and then I let it dry for a minute. I came back afterwards and did some details on top. So depending on how much time you have, I would do this if you're gonna do painting, then let it dry for a day before you come back and do the rest. One of the things you wanna look out for is if you have like bumps on your plate, make sure your paintbrush gets into all of your little bumps and grooves. All right. Beautiful. So that is a great start my paper plate. I'm gonna put this stuff aside so that none of the kitties step on it. And then I'll be right back for us to do the next part. See you soon. All right, we're back. So here's some examples of how I've painted the backgrounds before, just so you can get some more ideas. So I'm gonna start showing you the simple version of how to string these. So the simple version, I'm using pipe cleaners instead of yarn. And I'm just gonna go and about every inch, I'm just gonna cut down part way. Do you see about how far? So cut down, cut down, cut down, cut down. I think the reason we might have Delilah visiting is pipe cleaners she discovered yesterday are one of her favorite toys. I'm gonna start from the bottom of the rainbow and how we weave is we go over, under, over, under in a pattern. So I'm tucking these all the way down Pushing them all the way down to the bottom of where you cut it. Back and forth, over, under. And then any extra, I can pull it. If there's too much extra just on one side, then I just kind of fold it on the back to make sure it's nice and out of the way. 
Easy. So now I'll do the next color at the bottom of the rainbow. Oop, there she is again. Hi, baby. Yeah. Huh? Did you want to say hi? No, you don't want to say hi? No. <laughs> well, that's Delilah. Very different personality than Sammy. So this time, I'm kind of going to do the opposite thing. So last time, I had started this one going under. I'm not going to do that this time. This time, I'm going to start this one going on top. So I'm going to go over under, where last time I go, went under over. So anytime the purple is showing, I'm not going to be there. And anyway, the purple is showing, I'm... <laughs> I think you get the point. If purple's there, I'm not there. If purple's not there, I'm there with the blue. Under, over, under, over. Perfect. And then I just tuck it under at the end. Make sure it's nice and out of the way. Beautiful. Now I'll do green. And green is going to be anywhere the purple was because purple was the first color. So under, over. So anytime I see the blue, it's going to tuck back. And if anybody see the purple, it's going to tuck forward with the purple. And I'm going to keep going until I've done the entire rainbow. All right, there's my green. Time for yellow. And the green is going to go anywhere the blue has been. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Perfect. Now orange. So this is going to go anywhere the green has been. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under. <laughs> if you ever feel like you don't have enough room, make sure you push them all down so you have room for the last colors. And last but not least, red. And red's gonna go anywhere that yellow's gone. That is how you do the simple version of the rainbow. So let's do the harder version for those who want the trickier version. All right, so this version, we're gonna start by cutting the same, cutting about an inch down. Inch down, inch down. There we go. I'm just kind of going around like a sun. But this one, we're going to add a little snip to the bottom middle. Great. Now you could use string or yarn, whatever you prefer. I'm going to use this thick yarn because it'll be really easy for you to see what I'm doing. So we're going to start. I'm going to put it through that bottom middle. I'm just going to leave an inch out at the end. You can tape it to the back if it doesn't feel secure, but I feel like it usually does. Now I'm going to go through the first slot and then back around. Then through the next furthest slot on the other side and back around. Then through this one. Then through this one. Then through this one. You really can do whatever pattern you want, but I find that when I just go from left to right, then you get like, it kind of like grows. I think I'd rather it grow in the middle instead. There we go. So now it's through every section and I can just trim off the extra. Perfect. So now we're gonna weave with our next color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under over, under, over, under, over, under, over. 
And then when I get to the far side, you see I had gone over this last one. So now I'm gonna pretend I'm going this way now. So since I went over last time, I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And then I pull, 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 pull. Now I'm not gonna pull like this till the whole thing changes shape. I'm just gonna pull until the string looks nice and neat. There, beautiful. Now let's go the other way. So I had gone over this string, so I'm going to go under now. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And pull, 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 pull. But don't let this one change shape. If it starts pulling on that string, go back a little bit. Beautiful. Now if you want to change color, all you're gonna do is snip off the end and then just grab your next color. We don't even have to tie it off, just start your next color. And it usually kind of gets hidden in there somewhere. So that had gone under this one, so it's supposed to go over this one. So I'm gonna go over, oh wait, no. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I'm going over this one because I went under this one. There we go, now I've got it. Over, under, over, under. Don't ever be afraid to take a second and make sure, wait, am I doing what I think I'm gonna do? You're allowed to take a moment. All right, I went over this one, so now I'm gonna go under, over, under, over. It takes a little focus to go with your pattern, but once you've got your pattern down, you'll nail it. Awesome. Gonna do this one last time. It went over this one, so now I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Beautiful. Now I could keep adding till it went all the way to the top, but I think this is perfect. But well, whichever version you do, however it turns out, I hope you make a beautiful design. Whether you do a rainbow or not, happy Pride Month and have a great time making art. Take care. Bye.